It's not personal. It's strictly business. In the underworld, they were known as the most notorious hitmen in history. These five killers were responsible for countless deaths, their names feared by all who knew of them. They came from different parts of the world, but their stories all ended the same way, in a hail of bullets or in a prison cell. Here are their tales of blood, betrayal, and murder. Number 5. Sammy the Bull Gravano Sammy the Bull Gravano was born Salvatore Gravano in 1945 in Brooklyn, New York. He grew up in a working-class family and dropped out of school in the 8th grade. Gravano began his criminal career in his teens and was soon recruited by the Gambino crime family, one of the most powerful mafia organizations in New York. Gravano quickly rose through the ranks of the Gambino crime family and became one of John Gotti's most trusted associates. He was responsible for carrying out numerous murders and was known for his ruthlessness and efficiency. Gravano's preferred method of killing was the use of guns, although he also used explosives on occasion. Gravano is believed to have been responsible for at least 19 murders during his career as a hitman, including the killing of Paul Castellano, the former boss of the Gambino crime family. He also played a key role in helping to bring down the Gambino crime family by testifying against John Gotti in court, which ultimately led to Gotti's conviction and imprisonment. Gravano's victims were mostly other Mafia members, but he also killed innocent civilians who got in the way of the Mafia's criminal activities. Despite his violent past, Gravano is often portrayed as a sympathetic figure due to his decision to testify against his former boss and the fact that he played a key role in taking down one of the most powerful Mafia organizations in New York. Number 4. Charles Harrelson Charles Harrelson was a man with a past shrouded in darkness and violence. Born in the heart of Texas, he grew up in a home where his father was an abusive tyrant. Seeking to escape his troubled upbringing, Harrelson joined the Navy and served as a helicopter pilot. However, his stint in the military came to an abrupt end when he was discharged due to psychiatric reasons. With his military career over, Harrelson turned to a life of crime and became involved in various criminal activities, including robberies and drug trafficking. But it was his skills as a hitman that made him notorious. Known for his accuracy with a sniper rifle, Harrelson was hired by criminal organizations to carry out assassinations with ruthless efficiency. Harrelson's targets were mostly individuals who had crossed the wrong people rather than high-profile political or celebrity figures. He took the lives of those who refused to pay bribes, owed money to drug dealers, and even a federal judge who was seen as an obstacle to a drug kingpin's plans. Despite his lethal reputation, Harrelson's luck eventually ran out, and he was arrested for the murder of Judge John H. Wood Jr. Harrelson was convicted and sentenced to life in prison where he eventually died in custody. But despite his infamy, his son, Woody Harrelson, has gone on to become one of Hollywood's most successful actors, a testament to the complexity of the human experience and the unexpected paths our lives can take. Number 3. Charles Lucky Luciano Charles Lucky Luciano was born in Italy in 1897 and immigrated to the United States with his family when he was a child. Growing up in New York City, Luciano became involved in organized crime at a young age, running errands for local gangsters and eventually rising through the ranks to become one of the most powerful mob bosses in the country. Luciano was known for his business savvy and his ability to negotiate deals between different crime families. He was also a hitman who carried out various murders during his career. 
Luciano is believed to have been responsible for at least 40 murders, including the killing of rival gangster Salvatore Maranzano in 1931. Luciano's methods for eliminating his enemies were varied, and he often used a combination of tactics, including bribing officials to turn a blind eye, staging accidents, and even outright violence. While Luciano was a notorious figure in the criminal underworld, he also had connections to high-ranking political officials and other powerful individuals. He was eventually arrested and sentenced to prison for his criminal activities, but continued to wield influence even from behind bars, cementing his status as a legendary figure in organized crime history. Number 2. Roy DeMeo Roy DeMeo was born into a world of organized crime, surrounded by the legends of the infamous Italian-American Mafia. As he grew up in Brooklyn, he began to be drawn into the world of the mob, fascinated by its power and ruthlessness. DeMeo quickly rose through the ranks of the Mafia, becoming a trusted enforcer for the notorious Gambino crime family. He was also known for his skills as a hitman, earning a reputation as one of the most efficient and deadly killers in the business. DeMeo's victims were often other members of the Mafia who had fallen out of favor with their bosses or posed a threat to the Gambino family's interests. He is believed to have been responsible for the deaths of dozens of individuals, although the exact number is unknown. Despite his success as a hitman, DeMeo's own criminal activities eventually caught up with him. He was arrested on multiple occasions for various crimes, and in 1983, he was found murdered in the trunk of his car, a victim of the same violence he had inflicted upon others. Roy DeMeo's story is one of blood and betrayal, a tale of a man who lived and died by the code of the Mafia. Number 1. Richard the Iceman Kuklinski Richard the Iceman Kuklinski's life was filled with violence and brutality from a young age. His parents were abusive and he turned to crime as a way to escape his troubled home life. As he got older, Kuklinski's crimes became more serious and he eventually found himself working as a hitman for the Mafia. Kuklinski's deadly skills quickly became known throughout the criminal underworld. He's believed to have been responsible for over 100 murders, using a variety of methods to kill his victims. He would often use cyanide to poison his victims, earning him the name the Iceman because of the way he would freeze the poison in order to make it undetectable. Kuklinski's victims came from all walks of life, including other members of the Mafia, rival gangs, and even innocent bystanders who happened to get in his way. He was feared by all who knew him, and his reputation for violence and ruthlessness was legendary. Despite his years of criminal activity, Kuklinski was eventually caught and sentenced to life in prison. He died in 2006 at the age of 70, but his legacy as one of the most notorious hitmen in history lives on. The story of Richard the Iceman Kuklinski is a chilling reminder of the dark side of humanity and the terrible consequences that can arise from a life of violence and crime. As we conclude, we've delved into the lives of the five most infamous hitmen in history, each woven intricately into a tapestry of unyielding undertaking criminals. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the darker corners of human history.